Uh, we'll redraw this. And I call this deck Dragon Pyre. It's pretty fun. I don't know if it's as good as the other one. It's just kind of different. So, I wouldn't say one's better or worse than the other. This is just different. And we are playing World Pyre in the market this time. Uh, guess I probably, like, even though I can't play my Severin, I think I just want a Silex here. I don't think playing Severin on time is very important in this matchup as much as just trying to win with it eventually. So, or waiting till we have Transpose to protect it. Although... My, the main reason I'm making that decision is because our opponent has, like, no pressure on us right now, and we have a permafrost coming up. Although that is the one threat we can't kill with Permafrost, because it just turns into an Endurance minion. <laughs> like I'll probably be getting rid of one of my Severins for a Shadow Symbol sigil here. As frustrating, as annoying, as not great as that is, probably getting turned to seated anyway, so. Whatever. Thing? Opponent played their stuff. Interesting order here. I guess they're still gonna get a 4-4. Four, four. Or not. Uh... In that case, let's play our Carvet here. And now... They're kind of in a position where it's kill carve it or we pop the frick off with Severin. Don't smelt dragon is a pretty neat card. I won't disappoint you. Interesting. So yeah, Severin pop off is about to engage. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. This is relics, not attachments, too. Alright, um... I could bounce the board here. Um... It's probably correct. Let's get this going while Dazzle's gone. This stops the seeds from just poning me next turn. It does give him back some of his stuff, but... How it goes. I get my stuff back too, so... Now we have Dazzle back up. One of the interesting things about this version is we can actually play around Dazzle by playing our own Dazzle. Well, that's pretty good. The shadow has always been. The boys are popping off. Even if I am about to play against Seed Mageddon. Okay. We got nothing but time. If he doesn't have a good out for Severin, he's in trouble here. If he does, though, we're in trouble, probably. Um, might be able to fly over his stuff, though, and seal this game, even if... Stone Smell Dragon does do a crap load of damage, so if we uh, we lose our Severn here, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's looking like we're not going to. Nice. Um. Suppose we ping his face here. Oh, wait. Um, if I ping one of these seeds, I can kill it. Wump can't be targeted. Alright, well, we're going to permafrost this whole team. If he blocks wrong. So that's pretty cool. Amusingly, everything we stunned is now permafrost again. So that's neat. And this this imbued unit is now permanently frost frosted. So that's some uh fun little synergy there for the boys back at home. Why are you snowballing me here? I think our board's about to fill up with three ones here, boys. Can't 
can't tell if that was lethal or not, but it was. I think it was. Very cool deck from our opponent, though. I like to see the junkyards. Kind of cool they're playing a five cost matters deck. I like that. Uh, I'll keep this. This version doesn't need early world pyre as often as the other version does. Um, it certainly is great, but it's not the, uh, the end-all be-all for us. Uh, I'm probably supposed to grab something primal there. Oh well. Oh, uh, Chad, it's gonna look like we're on the same deck. It's very similar, but this is pretty different in the way it plays. At least in some of the options. I wonder if maybe four permafrost is just what we need. Deck really seems to hate having a permafrost played against it. By that I mean our opponent's deck. Ice Bolt? Okay. Uh, I guess Time Sigil here. Glad I opted to include those. Been a lot of Ice Bolts in the meta recently. Potentially might have been correct to just wait there. I kind of popped off a little bit, but we are only playing three Severin now, so not like it's the end of the world. Try and target the right thing. And I'll actually save Transpose for a more opportune moment, I think. We'll psych. I wonder if I hang on to Wrath of Kyphus too here, honestly. Maybe not. Because I've got these Silexes I'm going to want to be playing. So we can draw into that Kyphus later if we do, but... I think I'll just want Transpose fodder, honestly, more than I want Kyphus. Interesting game, though.
How much damage is Silverblade Menace doing here? So I think that's probably correct. But I don't actually need to go for it this second. I could just do it anyway, though. I mean... No real reason not to do it this second. And, like, I could wait and get max value out of Draconis, but... I guess I will. We can wait. This just makes his attacks really bad. You. Okay. Wonder if he's going for the seeds here. Yeah. How big was the seed? He was a three. Probably wanting a Shenra speaks more than anything else here. Uh, volatility will troll our silver blades, so that's kind of a non-bow. So I will actually not be playing that yet. Until I draw at least a few of these. Preferably three so we can just kill our opponent. Pretty good, pretty good. Two permafrosts on the Geral. Unfortunately, out of, uh... Out of sigils, symbols here, but... Don't really need them anymore, either. And they're just stacking up our menace here. We can actually just hard cast everything in our deck so we don't need World Pyre. Continue to be a little greedy here. Um, not gonna play volatility, and I'm not gonna play these uh, silverblade menaces. I want it to be lethal. I'll brave the Cause they don't really have a counter spell that deals with it, and I don't want to eat a turn to seed. Helio and the lightning storms kind of funny. So this might be lethal.
Can't dazzle this. Parry this, casual. <laughs> oh. We got revenge, chat. All we needed to do was play big derpy dragons instead of, uh, big spells. Well, I guess in our place we're playing big derpy dragons and big spells, but... Potato, potato. Nice. 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 Uh... I guess because we have permafrost, we keep this. Oh boy. You think they play transpose? I don't think they do. I haven't seen a single transpose out of them at all. Yeah, King, I actually made a deck tech that went live yesterday with one of them. I guess you didn't watch it. Ha ha. Banned. We are just gonna die. Straight up. Straight up gonna die. I guess Black Sky Harbinger isn't the worst thing we can be playing against tokens. Oh, I'm probably supposed to just go for World Pyre here. Maybe that's a little greedy. We'll play Harbinger first and then World Pyre. It's like they're playing Shrine. I'm gonna need a power here. Might be turning this treasure into a power. Untap, justice symbol, let's go. 
Symbol off the top. One in the deck. Let me see it. Uh, I suppose Draconis is probably better than going for Pyre here. I could Malediction the board. But Draconis helps us deal with this stupid edge. Oh, wait. This is clean, isn't it? Will not be completely bad. Will only be mildly bad. Which is like completely bad, only slightly better. We take we I forgot Transpose did two damage for a second there, boys. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, yes! Behold, my vanilla Electron. Besides, this might be my deck. Or a variation of it. I actually think he's marketing his edge, which is super smart. That's something I wasn't doing before and I wish I had been. This is gonna be funny. Alright chat, let's take an extra turn! I know, how about we take an extra turn? Yeah, let's do that. All of this has happened before. I don't want him to draw three.
Our hand's super controlling, so we're gonna have time to broker menace here. I could be cheeky here and play Draconis, but it's just better to do this. Wipe the board. Praise the Lord, wipe the board. Hands kind of meh. Isn't much better, but at least we have turn four world pyre, maybe. We're able to what get primal symbol with this. Then just like dazzle literally anything. <laughs> That'll be turn five, though. Well, that does it. I'll be a little greedy and play for the power, too. Or the treasure. Uh... My gym increased the difficulty of the grades, but uh, currently I'm more of like a a V2, V4 climber that I can usually flash and just do immediately. And I do projects on like V3, V5s and V4, V6s, but I did have a few months off just like everyone else. But uh, our climbing gym opened back up, so I've been going. Um, but everyone wears a mask and stays pretty far apart, and they they limit how many people can be in the building. So it's not the safest thing I could be doing, but it's also not the unsafest thing I could be doing. How do I have left on this playlist? 15 minutes? Alright.
I don't mind decimating here. Can be awkward, but I just don't want them to have any power. Or any sh sacrifice. Targets. And we can, like, alchemist into, like, treasure or something next turn as needed. The skies belong to the clans. Permafrost is pretty mediocre against them. So is Dazzle, honestly. I guess if they go for, like, a Wyatt's, Dazzle's fine. But... They can Dazzle turn to seed, that's something. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't think it would be good for the game if, uh... Like, the card might just be completely unplayable if it didn't do that. Also, I sure trolled myself there, didn't I? Glad I drew a card with treasure. Brokering Menace here, or going for Furnace Mage? I guess we'll find out. I guess I'll Broker Silverblade. They draw shine before, you know, we kill them, so be it. The skies belong to the clans. Big play is coming here from your boy. Need that damage, boys. Need that damage. We have Dazzle for any spells that like could draw him cards here. Don't have Dazzle for that. Here comes the Alchemist beatdown. Well, I'll clear the blocker. Silverblade Menace is now lethal. A potato game. <laughs> Just waiting till we naturally draw into our Silverblade Menace. Using Plunder. Using Dazzle to just stun our way to, like, chip damage. That's... 
We clawed and scraped our way to that one. I don't want to get rid of the Desert Alchemist. And at the time, we only had one A to the Horu. Can't get rid of a power. And probably wanted... Probably wanted a, uh... A Shenra Speaks too. so it's just like... Not any good options. Yeah, the simultaneous thing is weird. I think I think Aegis stopping Relicade is nice. I think it's good for the game. Because honestly, they made Relicate so prolific that like it would be no fun if you had no counterplay. Like there's too many There's too many one power blow up your relic or blow up your attachment. Like if you can't stop it with Aegis, you just die, I guess? I don't know. Not a fan. I guess I die now. Probably didn't grab the most optimal of power there, but I think the other Silex would have been better, the Sky Crack one. Whatever. This hand's pretty good. I don't need to uh min max this hand too much. Now the Skycrack Silex would have been bad too. Um, probably fine. Uh, I'll try and bait out some some turn to seed or whatever with this. Also, just casually gain 4 life and pop his Aegis is fine, too. Not a lot we really need their Aegis popped for, at least not this early in the game. Well, we get to blow up his edge. Draw five. We get it. Ah, oh. just a measly draw four. Just a sim <laughs> just a casual draw four. No. No, that that relic's insane. That's a relic you take into Gauntlet. I don't know what they were thinking with that relic. They were out of their freaking minds. It's a legendary too, right? <laughs> like, is it at least from a campaign? But like, it's not something people would think to play, but if you're playing volatility, it's like, 
you do a search on what dragons you can play. And that's kind of how I ended up there. Oh, we've been handily trolling people with the rhyme scale. I'm not saying it's always good, but like... It's not always bad, either. We might be too slow for this guy. I think I see the line. Alright, um... Well, if ever there was a matchup where Rhyme Scale will save us or won't save us, this is it. Maybe they're like, oh, I don't want to play into board wipes, and then they don't play a minion. And then we're just like... Yeet. And then they get yeeted. I don't think we're even dead to Tuvon here. The shadow has always been. Look at that, Doc. You were a hater. But now, you're seeing the true paddle power of our Rhyme scale Draconis, as I have to scroll over his name to see how to spell it, because I just don't <laughs> play with this card. Behold! Our true power. Be hard. Oh, uh, I was throwing shade at Doc for the wrong thing. <laughs> 